Welcome back to 48 Hours In. This is a show where every week we go to a new location and show you the fun things to do and see around. This week we're in part of the sunny southeast, home to the visual Hanover Park and the world famous Dolman. And this week we're in Carlo. Just, just, just Carlo. Welcome back to the show. This week we're in Carlo, and first we're going to go to Roisin, who's going to show us some of the fun places to grab a bite around here. Let's go! Are you ready for this? Wait, no, 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 no! <laughs> Shit! Oh, it's so cold, oh my god! Are we going to test? We're going to go one? Two, testing one, two, three. Oh my god, it's so bitter outside. I'm gonna get blown away. Oh my god, it's so cold. Oh. I'm here, I'm here, I made it. Okay, oh my god, I made it. And now we're here at Roshan talking about the food in Carlo. Enjoy. Hello, thank you James, and here I am in Carlow Town about to discover the top places where students like to go for lunch. There is a massive population of 24,272 people and a massive decrease by 10,000 over the cannibal outbreak in 2004. And now I'm going to make my way over and discover all the places around this town. See you soon. So here I am outside the roadhouse and I'm going to be going in there to interview one of the employers. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Were you just eating food in the roadhouse? No, I just got water. No. Have you ever been to the roadhouse? No. No, you've never been? No. Okay. Do you get a lot of business here? Uh, yeah, it does be busy. During yeah. the day you have like people coming in for their breakfast and their lunch and stuff and then you have a lot of students come in as well and then you have the pub goers and the nightclub goers at the weekend so it'll be busy enough, yeah. Lovely. And what's, who is your favourite person to work with, if I'm allowed to ask that? Carol, I was asked that, but you expect me to say you because I work with you. Um, I'd have to say Rob because he's a, my boss and your boss. So, <laughs> um, Do you have any student deals here? Yeah, we do student deals. So they average from 7.80 to 7.30 and you have like quarter pounders and chips, nuggets okay. and chips and you get your drink as well. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And what is your favourite food? Favourite thing in the roadhouse would be club sandwich, club sandwich. on brown bread. Brown bread. Yeah. And what's the best thing about working in the Roadhouse? I suppose the staff and the customers, because I've worked here for 13 years. Oh, that's nice. So you get to know people, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you have kind of the laugh and banter of people when they come in. So that's probably the best part. Well, thank you very much, Roadhouse. Uh -huh. So here I am in Cebo with um, Ricardo, who's Chibo. the manager. Chibo, excuse me, Chibo, Chibo, Chibo. Okay, so autocorrect Chibo. And Ricardo is the manager, and I'm gonna ask him a few questions, if that's okay with you, Ricardo? That's absolutely no problem. <laughs> okay. So what kind of food do you have in here? Oh, a variety of food. Exquisite food, pizza, pasta, mm. salads, avocado, it's all the range with sourdough, um, spinach, you name it, we, we can actually make it for you. Oh, what type of food do you like yourself? Um, I love pizza. I heard the pizza is nice in here. It's actually to die for. Yeah, I love oh, it's it. great. It's yeah. lovely pizza, yeah. Okay, so moving on. Uh, what are your opening times? Approximately half eight, nine a.m. till seven a.m. on a Friday or seven p.m. Sorry. And would it be very busy at that time? Oh, jeez, frighteningly busy. Yeah. Frightening. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, moving on, Pre do you prefer salt or pepper? Oh, pepper, cracked. And would you put a lot of pepper in your ingredients? Is that your secret? It's all down to taste, really. Taste. Yeah. And what is your most popular dish out of all the dishes you have in here? I'd say a cappuccino. Cappuccino. Yeah. And your favourite pizza topping? What would the students have out here? Um, just cheese. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't have much no. cheaper, you know. But personally, myself, I'd like a prosciutto. Prosciutto. Yes. Prosciutto. Did I pronounce yeah. that right? No. No? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Ricardo, for your time. Yeah, it's welcome. lovely. Thanks for coming. Hello, and here we are in Tully's, where students come for drinks and for food. Oh, lads, I'm starving. 
I want chicken wings. And over here is where Westlife met and got milk for the first time. It's famous for that. I missed out on a lot of lectures. Looks like I need to catch up on my assignments. <laughs> oh, the sign didn't get me. <laughs> oh my God, isn't it wonderful out here? This must be the milk that Westlife drank. So now I'm finished up talking to people in Carlow Town and I am starving, lads. I don't know about ye, so I'm going to go. But thanks for watching. Chloe, can you please take this? Thanks very much, yeah. Bye. I want chicken wings. You're out of control. I'm signing you a new partner. an audio engineer from the FBI. I want you two working together on this case. Now get out there. You got a mic. My client is the same side. My granny can find those bodies. What are you gonna do? We're gonna get caught like had a Halloween on the end of it. Are we going to the revolving duck? No, there's no time. They're on the third floor. We're we gonna get up there. Guns are big. Are you compensating for something? Just be glad I didn't bring my shotgun. Mike! Stop while I shoot. Miss Bell's going over the edge. Daisy, no! Freeze! Wow, you're a pretty sound guy. <laughs> Looks like this case is all tied up. Oh, welcome back from whatever the hell that was. I'm still in Carlo and I'm still wrecked from running across it, so I gotta go somewhere and relax and maybe catch a movie. Oh, just, just play the tape. No, seriously, play the tape. I'm telling you to play the goddamn tape. We're here in Carlo, the home to the now Hollywood actress Saoirse Ronan and the international pop star Richie Kavanagh. Let's ask some of the locals about their favorite places of entertainment. So what kinds of entertainment can I find here in Carlo? Well, uh, my favorite thing to do is actually just come into this course because the way I look at it, it's my own personal playground for jokes. And when you have Crowley in the classroom, you know, it's just a free for all. I can take the mick out of him. And Paddy. Well, Christina, Carlo's one of those towns where it's just brilliant to live because everywhere you look, there's great entertainment. Like, one of the recent things I've gotten into is um, I like to go up to the homeless and do this. And I just tease them every once in a while and put it back in my pocket. I find that hilarious. So, I think, like, uh, in Carlo, uh, you can do a lot of stuff like there is a lot of uh, nightlife, uh, but during the day, uh, I don't really know. Where is your favorite place to go to for some entertainment here in Cairo? The IMC. Okay, so during the day, I like to go to Omniplex to watch some uh, movie, and during the night, I like to go to Scraggs to party. The IMC Cinema, one of the two cinemas that Cairo Town is home to. The IMC first opened back in 2009 and is home to eight screen rooms. The galactic screen here at IMC is the biggest one out of the eight. 
and it offers us a fantastic way of watching movies. I don't, I don't understand. Why don't you go down? I, do you need help? No, 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 I got it. Calm down, calm down. I got it, I got it. Okay. Don't stay down. Hey. Do you, I can help you, sir. You will in your fuck. I fucking got it, right? Let me, just let me. Okay, I'm good. Let's just keep on watching the show. It, it's, it's over. Miss Bell got away. But you won't. Ah, yes. The Ivories. Where I'll start off this list of activities with a simple game of pool and other activities that I've heard I will find inside. You can play snooker, American pool, British pool, and table tennis. Let's see if I can find an opponent. Excuse me, sir. Oh, it's you. Oh. Um, are you here alone? Um, yeah. Oh. Well, I was wondering if you wanted to play a few games with me. I'm doing a documentary here, and it seems like no one's here. You had me at all you're alone. Let's play some pool. Do this. Uh, what's the idiot? I knew that. By the way, I did that. Damn weirdo kept following me. Oh, I can't go back there again. Anyway, on with the show. So, I'm kind of done running around to these different locations, but I have a little trick up my sleeve. This thing here is going to help me time travel to the next segment. So, we've just got to do one last adjustment here and. Constant struggle for students is never having enough money. So, I've decided to make it my mission to map out the ultimate day where they don't have to spend a single cent. I think we can all agree that the first place we think of when fun crosses our mind is the park! I'm so happy, oh, happy and lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worries come to me. Things that bother you never bother me. Things that bother you never bother me. Okay, moving on from there to stop any single mothers from questioning why we brought an entire camera crew to a playground. Anyway, another free thing you can do around here is pay the swans a visit. Now getting close is the best way to appreciate these majestic creatures. And if you want them to welcome you into their clan, bring them the gift of food, like bread. Now this is where you have to bend the rules just a little bit to keep things free.
That's my fucking bread. Now, isn't that better? I think it's fun if you give them names. There's Dennis. Oh, here's Derek. And Patricia. And Harry. Nearly missed Fiona. Charlene looking wonderful today. Well, I've had fun and it's time for me to go. But before I do, I'm going to soak up some rays in the usually beautiful iris weather. And I recommend you do too, because the best part, it's free. Next up, you can't miss Carlo Museum, open six days a week and free for all you muggles. It houses a wide collection of items and artefacts from Carlo's past. Hey, I said it'd be free, not entertaining. <gasps> so lifelike. What? The museum even has hands-on displays. So I'm here with museum regular Doug Byrne. So Doug, what do you like about the museum? You, you never, you never seen a cart pulling a horse. Okay, no, I haven't. So what's your favorite exhibition in the museum? What good is a lock if you don't have the key? Hmm. Right, well, a huge thanks for Doug Byrne ah. to talking to us today. Uh, thank you very much. Well, I learned a lot and I hope you will too, but I shan't rest. My journey continues on to the next location. So at this point, you're probably feeling a bit peckish. So I'm going to show you how to get your fill without paying the bill. No, you! Those are my fucking carrots! With your carrot in tow, it's time to reminisce about the fun day we've had. Start your day by bringing the kids to the park and enjoying the swans. Then head over to the museum to learn about the wonderful past of Carlo. And finally, have your original idea fall apart and resort to stealing carrots. And through it all, you haven't spent a single cent. And that's been the perfect free day in Carlo. Damn, I'm late. Wait, no, 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 no. I can fix this, I can fix this. First, we're gonna go to Roshi and he's gonna show us some of the fun places to grab a bite around here. Let's go. Are you ready for this? Wait, no, 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 no! <laughs> you goddamn dipshit! <sighs> it looks like that's our show. Join us next week when we go somewhere new. 
I'm gonna, I don't know, go see if we can figure out those cinema seats again. Give it a thing.